Technology offers a plethora of tools and resources to track, monitor, and manage various aspects of your well-being, helping you achieve a healthier lifestyle. Fitness trackers and apps can monitor your daily activity levels. Meal planning apps simplify healthy meal preparation. Hydration apps encourage water intake. Mindfulness apps promote stress reduction. Telehealth apps provide virtual healthcare access. Mental health apps support mood management and online communities offer social support. It is clear that leveraging technology complements traditional healthcare practices and lifestyle changes for optimal well-being. Bringing this to us here in Nigeria, tonight we're asking, how can we leverage tech to maintain a healthy lifestyle? Please let's say what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 8038463. So before we went on that break, I was speaking to Mola. And Mola is giving us her bit on what she thinks about. So she's Mola is always well, Mola and Mary actually. They are big on mental wellness. So she's giving us her own bit. So let me hear from Mary. Um, technology. Yeah. I'm so happy about technology. I'm really so happy about technology. Um, it has gone a long way. Um, the different apps. I was just as right now. I was thinking on top of my head like the apps I use. And the one that came to my head was the uh, Metro Cycle Tracker. Exactly. Oh, That's the one I was going to and speak I, I about. And I told to myself, I was like, God damn it, you know when they're teaching us this thing in school, it's 820. I could never have been able to see that and be calculating it. But I mean, look at me today. All I need to do is just be happy with you prompting to say, say are you okay? You're you're not, you're not today. Today. You know, you're not so apt with your predictions too sometimes. Exactly. Or you talk about YouTube and how, you know, you figure out motivational teachers from there at your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. I wake up and I want to meditate. Binaural beats. Binaural beats have been so helpful to me, mm -hmm. like in terms of meditation and just quieting my mind. And I'm just like, wow. There are a whole lot like of people that have mm -hmm. just dedicated, you know, their time to putting these things out there. And I mean, it's totally amazing. Or is it the Apple Watch has calculating, no. telling you to How stand up, steps, see when to drink water, you drink water, all of that. Yeah. I, mean, I think it's, it's, it's huge. It's really, really big. I'm so grateful to be witnessing technology mm -hmm. in fitness and mm -hmm. all the times yeah. in your life. Yeah, <laughs> no, right? Really. I must say that, you see that menstrual, menstrual cycle one really helped me as a matter of fact, because that was what actually prompted me to realize that I was having um, very long, irregular mm. cycles, right? For five days, and I was like, that's not normal. There's mm. definitely, so the people told me there's definitely something wrong. Yeah. And that's what prompted me to go to the hospital to see a gynecologist and mm. if I was diagnosed. So imagine that we didn't know that. I'll probably have just been like, okay, mm. maybe it's yeah. just, yeah. maybe it's just. Mm. Uh, but yeah. Interesting you said that because my case, reverse is the case, cause mm. I had like menstrual issues mm. and then you know it was really hard for me to even be able to track or to understand what was going on and then I realized well enough is enough. I can't leave this to myself. So I saw the app and some of them were asking for money, some of them were saying <laughs> yeah. so, it kind of, so it kind of discourages for a bit. But ever since that's two years ago, ever since I've been using the app, I don't even stress. Sometimes I don't even remember my period. But it's always like the moment I check the app, that's when I'm like, oh I'm supposed to it's tomorrow. Is that check? Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> but yeah, really it's helpful. it's been really, really it's helpful. Really been helpful. helpful. And yeah, of course, thankfully we have an expert in the house tonight and she's going to be discussing how should we tell no small? You know, we've just given you top Surface of the level. Yeah, Surface. she's going to go in depth. Yeah, so Touch is a lifestyle transformation coach with a mission to make fitness a lifestyle and a part of our culture. She's the founder of the Excited Living Company, a wellness company with a mission to create awareness and education to help individuals live a wholesome experience. The Excited Living Company teaches a seven dimension to wellness approach. Tochi has worked with several women to transform their physical and mental well-being through her life coaching and fitness accountability programs. Tochi is a passionate writer and she runs a column for the Vanguard newspaper. And here, the beautiful, delectable <laughs> Tochi Kafo. Hi, Tochi. Hi, 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 hi. It's always nice to be here with you ladies. Oh, always man. nice. I now feel like a member of the family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank no, you um, for joining us. So let's get right into it. So we're discussing how we can leverage tech to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Yes. So let me start. What are your thoughts on, on tech and living a healthy lifestyle? Tech is here to save your life. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes oh, to healthy living, I'll share from my personal experience. In 2018, I moved from a part of Lagos to another part of Lagos. Yeah. And the first thing, this new part was Lucky Phase 1. 
And I had to use the Lekki Ekbe Expressway to get to the gym. Where I was coming from, the gym was like five minutes away. Mm. So I thought to myself, I'm just relocating. I'm just moving houses. I don't need that stress. That moment was when I realized the power of tech to stay fit. Mm. That whole year, I did not go to a gym. Mm. I used the apps. And then it was a time for when they, when Sean, I don't know if you know Sean T. Mm. And I used Insanity. For oh. one whole year, I was at home working out. Oh. So the tech would help you with motivation also will help you with structure yeah. and definitely education i am yeah. I'm, I'm a big fan when it comes to healthy lifestyle and tech big fan big fan absolutely very interesting Amala, do you have any questions yes i do <laughs> <laughs> um so my immediate question is um i was reading earlier that the internet penetration in nigeria is about 55.4 percent oh, wow. so that means there are about for five percent of people, people that have without not. access to the internet, let's not even start with people that don't even have a clue mm. what healthy living is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when were and but then it doesn't mean they they do not need that information. Right. They do not need to have healthy living because you find out that most people that don't have access to these things, you when they start to get to a certain age, they their body starts to yeah. you know dilapidate and before you know it someone who isn't so old is looking so old right or, right you know someone passes on and you're not even sure you're like ah, why it's too early um and it's not because maybe they're not good people or they're not trying to eat well but it's just because there's certain habits that probably they should have had and there's yeah. certain tools that they could have used that they did not use so in terms of you know, bringing this granular and down to like the layman. Um, I mean, for instance, I saw my and the other day. It was on his phone and he was just swiping WhatsApp, watching people's status. I said, eh? Who's that? My Gitman. Right, okay. I say, wow, okay. So, I mean, the phones are there. People yeah. are getting it. Right, like, right. The internet is going, like, it's spreading more. Mm -hmm. So, as it's coming, the first thing that will come to the mind of, a layman, for instance, is not, oh, let me go and download this <laughs> period app. <laughs> but that, I don't even think it's the case for a layman. I think it's the case for those that are not aware of it, mm -hmm. which is why a big part of my work is education. Mm -hmm. When in 2021, I started an accountability group on WhatsApp. And the whole point was to help women exercise more frequently three times a week, uh, four times a week. I had people from the U.S., UK signed up to that program. And the reason why they signed up, I explained in my, uh, my copy that one thing that many people don't do with their workout is have a structure. Mm -hmm. So my job was to use certain apps to give them structure. Mm -hmm. So even those people, they've had phones for a long time, but they were not aware of the apps I introduced them to. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's one thing to have a phone, but I think the biggest thing is, as my work is to educate people on what this phone can do mm -hmm. for your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, so many people have the phone, but are they really using it? Do you understand? Yeah. So yes, we have. At these numbers you just mentioned, now I didn't know how you know how much more ground we still have to cover, but that's not for us. That's for the, those that are in the tech spaces. <laughs> but yeah, so education is the heart of well-being. That's what I do most. It's education. Yeah. It's not just having the phone. But then, how do you take it to those people? How is it a different approach? It has to be a different approach. It has to be. It has to be. Um, having simple conversations first they have to understand the need many people don't understand the need for certain things that's why you don't do them so at that level there has to be the, the need being explained why you have to exercise why you have to eat a certain way why you should eat more more protein less carbohydrate and then stir up the interest and the willpower to then you know apply the, the principles mm -hmm. okay. Interesting. okay Mary um I don't even know if it's a question or I would just like to hear what your thoughts are. Um, these days, there's a lot of um, weight technology that has helped in terms of weight. <sighs> so we have <laughs> 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 the Ozempic, there's the gastric sleeve, you know. Um, I've is it a question now? Is it? Okay. Yeah, I'd just, I'd just like to hear like what are what are your thoughts on that? Because um, that industry as well is also 
moving rapidly yes. um, in terms it also coincides with like beauty as well which is like the surgeries and BBLs yes. and all mm. of that yes. you know so um, what's, what's your take in general for that? So um, with everything around health and well-being I would always choose a a path that doesn't lead to, that couldn't cause more complications so I've heard about the Ozempic but there's also a lot of conversation around the side effects. So for me, when it comes to BBLs, they are conversations that are personal. You have to decide if that's the path you want to follow. However, I would always recommend not to. We've seen so much um, on TV about the risk. And honestly, when it comes to weight loss, it's education that is missing. I have had, I've lost weight before and I haven't gained it back. It's not a myth. There's a science to weight loss. Some people might have different types of diagnosis though that affects them you know i've heard different women, stories of women that can't lose weight they've tried different things so they're going for the gastric sleeve but anything that is not natural there might be complications so for me i would opt for the safest which is the lifestyle adjustment nutrition calorie deficit we do all of that first <clears throat> then if that doesn't work Find out if there's what, what is really stopping it from working, then decide if there are other parts you want to take. But for BBL, it's not really about weight loss, it's just a curvy well, <laughs> it's, 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 right. I mean, it's, it's also intertwined. Um, as well, I wanted to say, um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll come back to that. Okay, we'll come, yeah, we'll come, come back, back to, to that. that. Yeah, I mean, so my question is somewhat aligns with what Mary was trying to ask because I was going to ask are there do you see any potential downsides or challenges um, when it comes to relying heavily because from the way we're going very soon we're getting to that point where we're going to be relying heavily on mm -hmm. tech mm -hmm. to be able to maintain a, um, a healthy lifestyle. so do you see any potential da downsides or challenges I think the, the potential challenges would be if you're not getting information from reliable sources right that's my push, that's my each, uh, concern. Mm -hmm. So for me, all of my most of my work yeah. I get from Harvard Health. I go to credible sources to research and find out the latest ways to help people manage their health. So for me, the risk is just random people coming and making claims that are not backed by science. Yeah. So my mm -hmm. advice to all of us is research. Um, go to credible sources, uh, schools we've known for many, many years. There's the Harvard, there's the University of Pennsylvania. There are many good, good uh, sources. Also, go look for research papers that have done actual studies on people. Those things will help you, you know, mitigate the claims that are out there. Because there are many claims. I, I agree with you on credible sources. Yes. Because these days, it feels like when I just scroll through social media, somebody is like, being lost information coach. Information overload. Everybody is yes. lost overload. coach. And they're opening WhatsApp overload. accountability groups where people are paying 15,000 naira. And I'm like, wait, what's going on? You are now, all of a sudden, you are now a coach, but what for two chokers for? An active wear. Um, Mm, brand, yeah, brand. Yeah. Yeah. but I think I, always, I tell um, people all the time you know you are so re you are responsible for the information you yeah, take okay. on mm -hmm. so when you go on social media or online there's there are different people that are making different claims I, I as a weight loss uh, consultant I never talk about losing massive amounts of weight in one week or in one month because mm -hmm. I understand that it is going to put somebody else under a very restricted diet mm -hmm. and most people that go through that process in less than six months many not everybody they bounce back because they do not understand the process which they've engaged we're just told cut this out cut that cut that if you mm -hmm. starve you're going to lose weight Absolutely. it's not hard <laughs> but if you don't understand how you got that result you can't repeat it mm -hmm. yeah. so I after the coach you can't maintain so when the coach leaves you you are stuck again. You're yeah. going back to the same thing. You pay another money again. So oh. I educate on lifestyle change, and also I say think of one percent improvement mm. per day step or per week step. or something. Not mm. a very well rapid. Said, actually, yes, yes. yes. Uh, okay, I have another question, but then let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll continue the conversation. Awesome.
If you just tuned in, we're discussing leveraging tech to maintain a healthy lifestyle with Tochi Okafor. Please, he let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation, send an SMS or WhatsApp to 081803846636. We cannot wait to read from you. So Tochi, I was also going to ask if there are any recent, uh, out there, recent innovative technologies that you've actually explored and you know you've used and you can actually attest to say okay and then maybe i should call them recommendations recommendations yeah. okay so um for people that cannot access a gym mm. i would recommend that you use the apps to work out at home but i find that many people struggle with using the apps yeah, the so discipline the motivation, the motivation. Mm. so you have to really shop around to see what works for you for Things I can recommend, I would recommend resistance bands. I think they're very yes, resistance, right? bands. <laughs> resistance bands, yeah. Because as a especially for women that are watching, if you're over 30, 35, you must strength train at least three times. Well, is a that week. the one you do your last? Yes, yes. Yeah, so you must strength train three to four times a week. And a no. lot of people say, I don't have time to go to the gym. Buy the bands, use the bands at home, mm. and you get you know some support hmm? well see yeah. let me let me tell you that yes and yes I, I and that's why i went back to the gym yeah, right two months ago but it's, it, it's, it was not working what is not working i don't know so first i sprained my um i had an injury in my knee from cycling okay and okay. after that healed i tried to go back to the gym and i tried so my coach was always saying squat 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 and I just couldn't bear the pain. I wasn't. I couldn't keep up. Are you yeah. sure? It, I maybe did. So again, something I teach is recovery. If yeah. you have any pain, allow it to heal fully. Mm. In the time that you are, because also when it comes to structure with exercise, the problem I see is that people hit the same muscles consistently. Yeah. Mm. You would break that muscle. So if on Monday you're doing certain muscles, then you can't do it on Tuesday. Or rather, it's best not to do it on Tuesday. So on Tuesday, the muscle rests. And then... And inno innovative tools, I would say, is um, have recovery tools at home. There's a massage gun I have. Mm. Very good. If you have any muscle tension, you can use that to calm yourself down. Mm. Recovery is, is a big part of fitness that people just overlook. Mm. We're thinking of running, we're thinking of jumping. Yeah. But recovery, your muscles, think of exercise as breaking. They think mm. of recovering as building. Mm. Both are equally important. So, I mean, it's interesting you said that. And I wanted to ask a question earlier before a question came in. Right about you know not being able to stay consistent right um so for those that already have some level of structure right in their workout routine so be it or you take walks every saturday morning or you skip or you juggle whatever what tips do you have on how they can then infuse that because not me for instance i take stairs okay a lot okay. i try to take the stairs as much as i can mm -hmm. <sighs> Sometimes the body is willing, mm. but the spirit is like, nah. <laughs> so what I learned was when I take the stairs, I I noticed there was someone that was also taking the stairs and she was just crawling like a snail. Right. You know? She was like, see, just allow me. That's how I'm going to now. Guess what I'm going to. Me. Anything I'm taking the stairs, I used to be like, I used to be like, we need to get there quick, 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 quick. Morning, early morning, ginger. So. When I realize that most times when I try to do all those, I'll get tired very quickly. Right, so you have to pace yourself. So one day I didn't want to take the stairs that day. I really did not. And then I realized that if I try slowly, maybe I'll make mm -hmm. it. And mm -hmm. guess who has been taking the stairs slowly for the past few weeks? Mm. <laughs> so um, my point now is I've been doing that, but I've not been doing it with any level of structure. Right. I just know that I need to do some physical activity to stay fit. I'm one of those people that um, it's really easy for me to gain or lose weight. Right. So I don't really need to, how do I put it now? I don't need to think too much about it. The moment I want to lose weight, I will just put in that intensive period for but that let period me, let of me, time. Let me stop you. That's what we want to change. Yeah. I want to change that <laughs> I want to lose weight mindset. 
I want you to think of fitness as a lifestyle. Okay. The reason why you use the stairs is not because you want to lose weight. Mm. It's because it's good that's for your heart okay. health. Yeah. It's going to build strength. <laughs> but that's it. So let me tell you. Let me tell you how it works. You're using the stairs because you want to build strength and because you want to improve your heart health. If you do those things consistently, weight cannot stay. Mm. So weight loss being your focus is the problem. Right. Uh, well, weight loss isn't exactly my focus. You just said if you want to lose weight, you want to lose weight. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just saying, so I mean, that's balance. So I haven't, I don't think in recent times, because I lost a lot of weight recently, so I just right. got my weight back. So I, I like it. Right? <laughs> I really like it. But I also don't want to now lose myself and say, oh, because it's, it, can be, you can, it can be really robotic sometimes. When you go to work, you get to work, you're in an elevator, you're coming back, you're in a cab, you're home. Before you know it, you know, you don't right. get it. So what are you, you, you want to find out. So what, how can you infuse tech into your daily life? So you are already doing the things that you're supposed to do. You said you use the stairs mm -hmm. frequently. Mm -hmm. So tech, you could have an app where there is a 10 minutes stretch during the day or five minutes stretch. Okay. The Nike app is a fantastic app. And there's loads of workout. Most people actually find the app crazy, which is why I help them to structure it. Mm. So, but there are many apps that can help you. Even at your desk, there are some 10 minute stretches you can do. Mm. As little as doing something like this, mm. side to side. Mm. It helps, it helps, it helps. So, but it's the, the idea is that we don't want to go hours and hours and hours sitting down, mm. not moving our bodies. It's not serving us. Mm. And your body will not understand that you are busy. Mm. It just responds to what you give it. Mm. So, I mean, for me, I just feel like tech... I mean, I think one, one time I checked my app to see how many steps I've taken. Right. And then I was like, ah, this is too much Same pressure. Thing. Because now, I now want to be maintaining that. I'm like, no, but why not? Why not? Wait, why not even try out putting yourself under that type? Because it's not bad pressure. Pressure is good for us. Mm. What is not good is consistent and overwhelming pressure. But well, you see, the pressure that we put on ourselves intentionally is good pressure. It helps the brain to even tap into other, you know. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, allow yourself say for the next one week, I would not. I would do seven thousand steps. Give yourself that. I'm not saying seven thousand. I'm just saying. Not, not, not literally. Give yourself <laughs> a number. That's how you begin to put structure. You don't have a structure, and that's fine. Pick a number, three, four thousand. I'm going to do this every day. Mm. You will find yourself thinking of creative ways to achieve that. Mm. And that you're gonna start applauding yourself, and the more you do that, the more you want to do it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so okay. test you that know, first. As it is with everything else, right? Like they say, consistency is key. Also, having a goal helps you to work towards. And you know, you're working towards something. something right? Yes. Yes. So, so having that number would help mm -hmm. you. Yeah, it will help you. Don't don't see it as if I don't need tomorrow. Let tomorrow come. Today I have a seven k step to make or two k step. Let me just do that. That's an because at this point, that I'm hearing big, big numbers, and I'm like, ah. that but makes it's sense. Hard to, to, to do even 10,000 steps a day. As long as you're wearing the watch. 10, yeah, 000. before you know it, yes. Yeah. Try it, try it. Because uh, the day I checked, I saw like 2,000. I was like, ah. What I take the stairs? Do you maybe no, that's that another thing. So that's thing. So maybe you sit a lot, and so the only time you are doing that movement is when you are climbing the stairs or when you are coming ah, down the stairs. It's not you enough. Sit, when you are in the office, you are literally yeah. sitting the entire. That's I'm always thing. on my seat. You're not that's why I need to never It's not advisable mm. to sit for more than an hour at a stretch. Wow. Yes. So one hour, then move for like <laughs> two minutes. <laughs> Last, <laughs> well, she's always sitting down. <laughs> So the, that, that is what they call a sedentary lifestyle. Mm. Anyway. So even if you work out in the morning, a good one hour, two hours in the gym, it's even not advisable to sit down throughout the day. Ay, 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 ay. So. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you're making I, a lifestyle I, I, I don't Yes. Even, I don't even sit I down, but um, I think it's more of the pressure of high heels and walking around. Right, yes. Um, so that. The change of shoes always helps. Yes, yes, you, know, you have and, to have um, the, Like I just had to see a chiropractor because right. um, I've had pains for ages now, and I just couldn't take it anymore. So that that has also brought me to like recovery, like you said. Yes, taking recovery. time off the gym. But I must say, I I did have a bit of like withdrawal syndromes because I, I couldn't sleep. Um, my alarms were still waking me up at normal right. time, so I would still be awake. I'll now wake up and say, oh. But well, you can't go to the gym. You don't want to strain the thing. Have you ever have you explored workouts that 
like well, yoga. Yes, you, you you might benefit more from. Yeah, from them. I, I think I should I should go back to it. But yeah. um, like like we said, there's there's that um pump overload. So, I mean, it's not I I was never a workout person. I right. never thought I would you know Love it. be a gym rat kind of thing. <laughs> and you became one. I became <laughs> one years now. And then now it's it like, happens. You know, now the body's telling you, okay, you need to take another another shape, and it's just like oh. Why miss all these heavy, but let heavy me tell you, as, as a heavy lifter, there are some yoga that will put you in the same state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. even, mm -hmm. even more difficult, to be fair. Because the whole point of yoga is intentional recovery. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's also strength training. Yeah. Just with no weight. Mm -hmm. But you're using your mm -hmm. own body to generate all the energy. Yeah. It's, it's incredible. So try try a couple of them and see how that works. But okay. you want to recover well before you hit the gym. Yes. You do. You do. Um, and one of the last question I have for you is, what other areas do you think that technology hasn't touched that we? Mm. <sighs> for well being. Hmm, inter very interesting question. <laughs> very very interesting. I have to think about, about that, that one because right now, I'm enjoying. So if I think of Wellness, I think of fitness, uh, I think of nutrition, mm -hmm. I think of rest and recovery. That's how I teach it. Mm -hmm. And those three areas are covered. covered. I'm sure there's going to be more innovation. Definitely. But for now, there's nothing. Maybe for sleep. Uh, if you get to sleep, there's sleep. I think sleep, I'm not yeah. using the app as oh, much. I use the sleep I don't. app, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why my phone goes. So at 10 p.m., it shuts down. My phone shuts down. Awesome. My phone Isn't shuts not down. The still, not even the DND one. Sleep. There's, there's a focus. Sleep. There's a fo yeah, there's an app, yes. Focus, yes. I have that, but then it's just, all it does is put it on DND for me. I'll still my phone, phone. My phone is down to because I'm I, I wake up in between, right? So mo in most cases, once I turn into hours, I pick my phone, I'm on my phone for like 30 minutes, and then I go back. So it, I, I noticed that, and I noticed that my sleep pattern was just really messed up. Mm. I just when I started using the iron test, helped me. So when I pick up my phone, so I have to go through that whole process of trying to put in my pass, and it's a long, so I just, it's a deterrent, it just yes, drop I it. just drop it, and I noticed that I don't sleep longer at a stretch. Yeah. Yeah. I think one thing I would like to, you just mentioned about uh, that it hasn't touched, maybe a more fun community. Because mm. yeah. I was thinking of having a community that would just challenge. Because right now I'm doing a challenge, a squat challenge in okay. a group. And I'm saying, let's do 50 squats um, the first two weeks and 100, 100 squats the next two weeks. I feel like a, a an app that just gets us charged to it, get excited, maybe that would be fun. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Not really compete because we don't need that kind of stress. However, just a place where you can you know, see what other people are doing, stay motivated, chat up, or maybe other things about life yeah. aside yeah. from fitness. Just, yeah. Something fun. It's, it can yeah. be quite serious with all oh, wellness, yeah. well being. I think they should do um, like AI therapy. Hmm? Do you know that yeah. I was just going to say, right? I was going to ask Tochi. So, two, two questions. Yeah. I was going to ask. How do you think? So, right now, everybody's talking about there's a whole, there's yes. best best talk about AI, AI, AI. AI. So what role do you think AI can particularly play in, like, um, Maybe personalize and personalize fitness plans, right? Right. Do you think AI has any role that it can possibly play in that in that aspect? I think my challenge with fitness plans is that personalized fitness plans require some type of interaction. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure in the future AI yeah. will develop to that point. Yeah. I'm sure it can. There's the yes. one on Snapchat where you um, you can chat with the person with the AI. My AI. Yeah. And I saw Ask questions. I, yeah. I saw some screenshot someone had posted about some guy saying, Ah, oh, he's a terrible person. These are the things he has done. And the AI was just trying to say, You know what? It's fine. People make mistakes. Oh, and really? it was just. So I'm not thinking, hmm, if you're personalizing like AI therapy, do you. I don't know. <laughs> I think Is when it, it comes to certain things, people yeah. want human interaction. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know that AI will replace that aspect but i, I know yeah it's going to help us in many ways yeah. but i don't know about that and mm -hmm. uh, with weight loss and i've worked with over maybe 150 women in the last yes. you know year and the people want personal conversations mm -hmm. they and sometimes it spills into other areas not just fitness mm -hmm. i don't know how ai will take care of that but let's see what they do mm -hmm. <laughs> i think that at the beginning of the conversation you talked about how you're big on education yes right? because mm -hmm. i yes I, I agree um people if people don't know there's nothing you can do about no. it and there's no way there will be any form of improvement as well but then i was also going to ask 
do you have any insights as to how technology can maybe improve accessibility to maybe health resources or yeah, yeah health information so the the the, tr the challenge not challenge the way things are structured now a lot of high-tech papers and you know research mm. they're actually paid for Mm. So you might get the abstract, the page one, and, and then they'll get your appetite for the rest. So even on the Harvard, I've taken maybe like six courses now. It's not free. They'll give you a page. Oh, learn this. You get excited. You click. So just pay your forty dollars, hundred dollars. Hey. So by the time you pay that, which is why we do it as I do it as work. work. So I yes, had to get so you spend money. Spend more. I keep spending yeah. money. You know, so for that, you will get information, but gener generic stuff. Yeah. If you want deep insights, you, you might want to, you know, you might have to part with some money. Yeah. You might you have, to. have to. You have to part with some money. <laughs> Flo is even asking you for money every other day. Exactly. Pay for 3,900. Exactly. <laughs> because those researchers, yeah. it's their work. Of yeah. course. Yeah. It's their work. Yeah. It's how they also take care of their family. Okay, so. yeah. I have a question. Did you see how I was like, <gasps> I was just holding my breath. <laughs> um, I, I think that was an interesting question you, you asked. Um, I'm going to, I want to expand it a bit more. Okay. So what you're talking about, I mean, we know that tech is the future. Tech is tech is here to stay. Yes, tech is here to stay. And we love tech, don't we? Yes. Of course yeah. I mean, and it's, I love that it's intergenerational in terms of, you know, even our hospitals, yeah. although we still have a long way to go. Um, <laughs> so my question is, what would you say are the opportunities in the value chain for people, especially in the lifestyle field, right. and who are also um, leveraging tech? What opportunities are available? Oh my goodness, there's, there's so much. I was looking to create an app for Niger meals, like mm -hmm. to grade our own foods. Because right now we're using the stats from, you know, not our foods. Yeah. So I wanted to have something. And most of my meal plans are actually 100% Niger. Mm -hmm. Because this is where I live. Mm -hmm. This is what we eat. Our reality. Mm -hmm. I will not be giving a meal plan that is, that has someone said cauliflower rice. Right. I'm like, you know how much a bunch <laughs> of cauliflower <laughs> is? So that's an opportunity for more of us to focus <laughs> on everything Nigerian. How we can take care of our own people because right. a lot of the information out there is not for us. Mm. Also, I wanted to. I'm going to do it next year. I'm going to shoot like. Um, I want to see what what foods are available in all parts of our country in our mm. our stretch. Because we keep. I, I yeah. one time I wanted to try out being vegan, and it was hard to find enough protein that wasn't animal protein. Mm. But I've also researched a bit of the food from the north and from Joss, and there's mm. so much of other sources of protein that we don't even eat in Lagos. Yeah. Mm. Do you think tech could... Sorry to... No, 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 no. So I was... I recently came across... Uh, I was doing some research, and then we have so much food. We do. But we only eat... Rice. Rice. Yeah. And the, the, we only eat highly processed food. Mm. Why? I was in the market a few days ago and I saw a fruit. I said, what is this? They called it a or something like that. Abere. I don't know what they called it. It was a name that I couldn't... I, I wrote it down somewhere. Yeah. And I thought, he said, oh, it's very good for high blood... Um, to manage blood sugar and all of that. If you go to the fruit market in K2, mm. they're, they're not, they were only having pineapple and watermelon mm. on, on, wow. on this side. There's so much, there's so much. I saw one tiger fruit. I had that last time. It didn't taste too good, but mm. it was a fruit. Okay. Yeah, You've so I days. want to create that awareness of what we have in abundance in, in Nigeria. So mm. I'm hoping to be the one that does it. But yeah, that's the way that we can uh, use tech. Mm. So create those things and then put them on the app, yeah, the app or so you can just research. Possibility sake. So yeah, yes, there's yeah. so much we haven't done. Mm. You know, I mean, it's not a mistake that we'll have to teach you. She's <laughs> really educated. Yeah. Oh, so good. But yeah, I mean, as it is with every good thing, it comes to an end. Yeah, she's yeah. <laughs> But then, before we go, do ensure you follow us on Instagram at Way Africa. You can interact with us further. Drop a comment and most importantly, follow all our social media engagements. And remember to like, share, comment, and invite your friends and family to watch us and follow us. Tochi, thank you so much for coming on nice to be with here. us tonight. I mean, we're definitely going to bring you back. We have to bring you back. We're always going to bring you back.
Thank you so much, Amala. Thank you. Amala, it was good to have you. Not behind the scene, but right here in front of the camera. Yes. Good to be here. producer, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> good to be here. Thank you so much, Mary, as Thank well. You. If you missed today's quote, here it you is again. Missed. Fall in love with taking care of your body. That's mm -hmm. like Period. That's for trying to be Gen Z. Gen Z. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it was quite an amazing show tonight. Make sure you enjoy your weekend. See you same time next week, Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye, guys.